Coming from California and from a family of foodies, road trips to Las Vegas were uncommon growing up. But what kept us coming back to Las Vegas for now the third year in a row is not the hotels, the gambling, or the buffets and celebrity famous restaurants, but instead, these three hidden gems of a restaurant. After a five hour long trip on the road, before even checking into our hotel, we arrive at Nabe Hot Pot to get on their waiting list. Hi, we're here to sign up for the waiting list. Yep. We have four people. It's gonna be about an hour and a half wait. Oh, that's actually a lot shorter than we expected. Oh, that's good. Oh, so unusual. Yeah, there's a five hour. What do you mean? <laughs> and then you guys are saying, you know, only one. <laughs> Crazy. It could be shorter. I have a lot of people who are saying that they don't want to come. Oh wow! We came last year and the wait was like five hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. KFC and honey chicken. Dude, all you can eat. Honestly, this is what I'm excited about. The appetizers. Wait, it's all you can eat sushi, right? Yeah, everything. Definitely the baked lobster and the dynamite. I remember those. Really? Yeah. The wait went by really quickly, and before we knew it, it was time for food. Since everything from the appetizers to the sushi to the meat are totally all you can eat, the only honorable thing to do is to order some of everything that looked appetizing to us on the menu. Then we went off to gather some food to cook in our hot pot. As you can see, I was totally here more so for the appetizers and the sushi and the hot pot was just kind of a nice little addition to it all. I would say my favorite appetizer was definitely the shit, which I believe is fried seaweed with imitation lobster inside. That is truly the highlight. At the end of the 80 minute limit, which is in place for people like us who definitely have the inclinations to stay for like half the day just eating, they actually gave us ice cream, but unfortunately I do not have that footage anymore, but just wanted to say that as good as this place was, I think I've had enough to sustain me for another year before craving it again.
The second place on our list is Gabby's Boutique. Yes, it's a donut shop, and yes, there may be many more famous donut shops in Las Vegas, but this one is the one that somehow captivated our family and kept us coming back for the third year in a row now. So there's definitely something about it. Perhaps it's the beautiful decor in the shop or the refreshing drinks accompanied with the truly decadent donuts, but regardless of what it is, our family is here for it. We would come and get every donut that calls to us in any sort of way and then sit down as a family splitting each of them in four so that we each get a taste of every single one. Even if it's not this place, I highly recommend all families to give Las Vegas donut and pastry shops a try. They're truly delicious. For hours of operation, please press 3. For all other inquiries, because our restaurant operates on a first-come, first-served basis, we do not take reservations. This is the wait time for a party of four. About three to three and a half hours. Okay, thank you. You're not ready for this third restaurant, 888 Japanese Barbecue. All you can eat Korean barbecue, ramen, sushi, and appetizers. What else do you need in a restaurant? But of course, with a great restaurant comes an even greater wait time. Here we come. Honestly, the three ramen options all tasted kind of the same, but they all tasted really good, so I'm not complaining. 
Other than the ramen, my favorite appetizer here was definitely the cream cheese wontons. Those were so good. At the end of our meal, they gave us some s'mores, which was a lovely way to end our dining experience. Thank you.